you are going to declare your victory. David says that, I come against you in the name of the Lord of hosts. And today, you will be, I'm going to give your carcasses. Listen to what David said. David prophesied before he even saw his result. You are also going to prophesy the victory that you want to manifest in your marriage. The victory that you want to manifest in your finances. The victory that you want to find, to get as a student, to pass your exams and break through. You want to prophesy the victory that you want to experience with your pregnancy and have your children. The victory that you want to see your children saved. The victory that you want to see the restoration in your marriage. The victory that you want to experience in the, in the court case. This prayer, you are going to determine your fate. You are going to determine your destiny. What you say is what you get. What you say is what you get. For life and death lies in the power of the tongue. And those who love it shall eat the food thereof. Tonight, you are determining the fate of the situation. If you have a court case, and whatever you are addressing tonight is what will happen when you go to the Lord, the court case. If, or with, with the sicknesses, today, whatever you say is what will happen to your body. With every challenge you are going through, you are going to determine your fate by what you are about to say. And David said, listen to this and begin to prophesy into your life what you want the Lord, you want to see manifesting from tomorrow, even in Jesus' name. Uh, 1 Samuel 17 verse 46. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hands. David said this before he even came against it. The, the Lord will give you into my hands. And the Lord gave the Philistine to his hands. And I will strike you and take off your, and take off your head. He struck him and took off his head. And this day I will give your carcasses to the camp of the Philistines, to the birds of the earth and the beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. Exactly what David said is what David saw. Whatever David said is what he saw. In the beginning, whatever God said, God saw. Whatever you are about to say is critical. Whatever you are about to say is what you are going to experience and manifest in your life. So this is your own de destiny. It is in your mouth. Speak it. If you don't keep, if you don't say it, you will not see it. If you say it in faith, you will experience it just as David saw it. Begin to prophesy. Prophesy concerning the situation. Determine the outcome yourself. Whatever you want it to happen, declare it in the name of Jesus. Reka payada, sman payada ba. Rento lobo zen dele bika. Reka panda le bika ndo lobo sata. Tonight, tonight. Tonight we determine our faith. We determine our destiny. We determine the situation in the name of Jesus. The Father God, we are healed by the stripes. I am healed by the stripes. Son is delivered by the stripes of Jesus. Rente le bede zeba konto yodo boja. There is abundance of money. There is abundance of clothes, of financial breakthrough. There is abundance of open doors in my life and destiny. Doors are open to me. No lack, no want. Oh, my God, in our lives, oh God. Father, we thank you that you have delivered us tonight. Tonight, you have delivered us from the chains of the enemy, from the joke of the enemy, from the curse of the enemy. The sick are healed up in the name of Jesus. The sick are healed up in the name of Jesus. Restoration is coming back into our mind. Marriages in the name of Jesus. Love is coming back into our marriages in the name of Jesus. Joy is coming back into our marriages in the name of Jesus. You are restoring our destinies. You are restoring our dreams. You are restoring our visions. You are restoring our education. You are restoring our love for you in the name of Jesus. Father, you are giving people victory. We thank you for the victory. As we go to the Lord, the court case, you are delivering our spouse. You are delivering our children. You are delivering our grandchildren from every court case. They are coming out. They charge and are quitted. 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 They are bringing healing into our body. We are healed by the stripes. We are healed from cancer. We are healed from high blood pressure. We are healed from diabetes. We are healed from every sickness and every spirit of infirmity. We declare our deliverance from every witchcraft, every demon, every strong man, every curse, every joke, every self, every opia, every voodoo. We are delivered tonight in the name of Jesus. We are delivered. In in the name of Jesus, we are breaking loose and free. We are blessed and highly favored tonight. I am blessed and highly favored tonight. Reke payada ba 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 ba. Speak it to your life. Speak it to your marriage. Speak it to your children. Prophesy. Reke payada ba da ba ba. Reto lobo zanta yada ba 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 ba. Monto lobo zanta yada rebo shanta. Ranta na bakundo lobo sa. Reto lebi kanto lobo hoto yanda. Determine your own destiny tonight. Determine your own faith tonight. I receive the joy of God. I receive the peace of God. I receive the fulfillment of God. I receive restoration in my marriage. 
I pray, oh God, that you restore my husband. You restore my wife. You restore my children. I thank you for the victory. I thank you for the victory. I thank you for my marriage. I thank you for my marriage. I thank you for my victory. I thank you for my job. I receive my job in the name of Jesus. I receive my job in the name of Jesus. I receive victory in my marriage in the name of Jesus. I receive my deliverance in the name of Jesus. I receive my healing in the name of Jesus. I receive my breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I release financial favors in the name of Jesus. I receive favors all around me in the name of Jesus. Man to lobo lobo. The enemy is defeated under our ass tonight. We are prevailed. We are prevailed in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your divine visitation. For making the impossibilities possible. Making the impossibilities possible. May the Lord God Almighty nourish us tonight. May the Lord nourish your soul tonight. May the Lord nourish you and make you complete tonight. May the Lord throw every storm in your life tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command every storm in your life to be stilled. Mountain to be rolled away. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. May the Lord make a way for you where there seems to be no way. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Begin to bless the name of our Lord Jesus. Begin to bless the name of our Lord Jesus. For today, giving you the power to prevail over your enemies. Begin to thank the Lord Jesus for giving you the power to prevail against your enemies. Begin to thank the name of our Lord Jesus for giving you the power to prevail against your situation, against the problem, against the sickness, against the court case, against the health problem, against the depression, against the addiction, against the worry. Begin to magnify the name of the Lord for giving you victory tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is healing in the name of Jesus. There is deliverance in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, we thank you tonight. We thank you tonight for giving us victory, for giving us breakthrough, for reversing the irreversible, for changing unchangeable, for doing the impossible, for doing the unbelievable, for doing the unimaginable, for coming through for us, for saving us, for rescuing us tonight. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless you, mighty God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Today, may the name of Jesus be glorified in your life. At the mention of the name Jesus. At the mention of the name Jesus. May every problem be rolled away. May opportunities open to you. May favors open to you. May deliverance come into your house. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord Jesus deliver you. May your soul escape as a bird out of the snares of the fowler. In the name of Jesus. Be glorified, Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus champion which the Philistines sent out to challenge them. His name was Goliath, a giant almost 10 feet tall. He wore armor of bronze and carried a huge spear, and he shouted a challenge to the men of Israel every day. Why don't you come out to fight? Am I not a Philistine? Are you not Saul's men? Choose a man from among you and send him to me. If he kills me, we shall be your slaves. But if I kill him, then you shall be our slaves. I defy the army of Israel. Send me a man so we can fight. But all of the Israelites were terrified when they heard Goliath. The pasture rather than the battlefield. But David spoke confidently to the king. No one need be afraid. I will fight this Philistine. You cannot fight the giant. You are but a youth. And he has been a warrior from his youth. I take care of my father's sheep. And once when a bear came, took a lamb from the flock. I went after him, struck him down and snatched the lamb from his mouth. Once when a lion came, I caught him and killed him too. I killed both the lion and the bear. 
and this Philistine shall be as one of them, because he has insulted the armies of the living God. The Lord who saved me from the lion and the bear will save me from this Philistine. Go, and the Lord be with you. Because of David's great faith in God, the king no longer tried to hold him back. But Saul had little hope, especially when David refused to wear the king's armor. went and picked out five smooth stones from a brook and put them in his shepherd's bag. Then, with his staff in one hand and his sling in the other, he approached the Philistine giant. Goliath had shouted his challenge at the Israelites for many days and had received no answer. Now, suddenly, he saw a challenger coming. But what a challenger! A mere youth, seemingly unarmed, with nothing but a staff in his hand. And Goliath made fun of him. Am I a dog that you come to me with sticks? Come to me and I shall feed your body to the birds and animals. You come to me with sword, spear, and javelin. I come to you in the name of the Lord, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you've insulted. Today the Lord will deliver you into my hands, and the whole world will know that Israel has a God. David spoke with such confidence that for a moment, Goliath hesitated. But when he looked again and saw how small and defenseless this young shepherd really was, the giant was sure of victory. So the mighty champion of the Philistines came forward to fight the small young man. Then David took one of the stones from his bag and placed it in his sling. Unaware of David's intention, Goliath came closer. But by then, David was already swinging his slingshot, and the stone from it struck the giant on the forehead. Then David ran and stood over the stricken giant lying on the ground, after which he picked up Goliath's huge sword. With great effort, he raised the heavy sword with both hands and brought it down with all his might, killing the Philistine giant. When the Philistines saw that their chance... Hi, this is Brother K, and once again, welcome to Fresh Fire Prayer Line. Today is the day the Lord has made. We rejoice and be glad in it. This is a quick message for those of you who have been trying to um, call in into the prayer line. However, you are calling from a long distance. Some people are call, trying to call from UK, Australia, India, and all over. Uh, and and it's, it's expensive using your um, telephone. So uh, right now we are going on Block Talk Radio. So if you have access to the internet, you can just join us on Block Talk Radio. And it's the same Fresh Fire prayer line. And once you log in, you can hear me, and then you can hear the whole law uh, of the service and pray with us just by through your computer, through the internet. And then when it is time for people to call in for prayers, then I think you can use your phone just to call for that few minutes that you want uh, any prayers. So um, I just came on to tell you that we are now on Block Talk Radio. You can join us on Tuesdays and also on Fridays. And remember, every Tuesdays and Fridays, we do fast from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. May God richly bless you. Bye. I'll leave information for you to know how to access it. Bye. Every, we meet on every Tuesdays and Fridays for prayers. On Tuesdays, we meet just for one hour. We meet at um, 10 p.m. Eastern Time, 9 p.m. Central Time, 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, and 8 p.m. Pacific Time. So 10 Eastern Time, 9 Central Time, 8 Mountain Standard Time, and 7 p.m. Pacific Time, just for one hour on Tuesdays. And on Fridays, we meet to fast and pray, just like on Tuesday also. And on Fridays, it is three hours. 
we meet on 11 p.m. on Fridays, Eastern Time, 11 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 p.m. Central Time, 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, and 8 p.m. Pacific Time on Fridays. Remember, on both Tuesdays and Fridays, we do fast. Both Tuesdays and Fridays, we do fast, and we fast from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. That is water fasting. The Bible says that these things go not except through fasting and prayer. So depending on how serious you are with your, what you want to receive from the Lord, join us on Tuesdays and Fridays for fasting and prayer. And God will definitely bring your breakthrough. On Tuesdays, remember, it's just for one hour. And on Friday, it is for three hours. And for the fast, and if for any reasons you can't do from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., for medical reasons or any reason, you can always do it from 6 a.m. to 6 noon or 2 p.m. or 3 p.m., whatever time you can do. God searches your heart and just fast and pray and believe the Lord and He will answer your prayers. Uh, with a prayer line to the whole of this year, we have listed our five prayer requests. Five things you want the Lord to do for you before the end of the year. List your five prayer requests when we meet and give opportunity for us to pray that the Lord will come through for us concerning our five prayer requests. And have faith and pray the living God and God will come through for you. So I look forward to you joining us on Tuesdays and Fridays for the fasting and prayer. God answers prayers. These things work not except through fasting and prayer. And also, if you are interested in knowing much about um, deliverance, uh, I have a book called Spiritual Diagnosis. Um, this month, we are doing the theme is um, we dealing with deliverance. And if you want to know much about this, and you don't know much, you don't know about deliverance, then I encourage you to order the book. It is um, just ten dollars and free postage if you live in the United States and it will help you to really understand uh, what uh, spiritual warfare is all about. It's called spiritual diagnosis. It helps you to be able to diagnose for yourself your own spiritual problems and to be able to effectively use the word of God to deal with a problem. Just as you go to the hospital and the doctor has to first diagnose you in order to find out what problem is with you and be able to now treat you when you go you take your car to the mechanic you have to diagnose the car in order to find a fault and then fix it in the same way spiritually too you have to be able to spiritually diagnose your problem and be able to effectively use the word of God to fight against whatever you burden cares that the worst case upon you so spiritual diagnosis helps you to uh, diagnose your spiritual problem and to effectively use the word of God to address that issue and to be able to overcome whatever challenge you are going through. Spiritual diagnosis, I believe, if you want to know about your spiritual state and how to do spiritual warfare, uh, it's one book you want to order it and it will be of a great blessing to you. So I look forward for, uh, for you joining us on Tuesdays and Fridays for fasting and prayer. God richly bless you and don't stop praying. If you keep on praying, you will grow stronger and stronger as your enemies grow weaker and weaker and you will have dominion and power over your enemies and you will trample them under your feet because Jesus Christ has given you and I the power to walk upon or trample over scorpions and serpents and over all the powers of the enemy and they shall by no means do us any harm. Uh, there's a saying that, you know, a prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian, a prayerless. If you don't pray, you are powerless. You don't have power and demons cannot overcome you. But if you are praying, then you are a danger to the forces of darkness because you carry power. Prayer gives you the avenue to connect with divinity, God. And God releases the power to you for you to overcome and subdue all the works of the enemy under your feet. You are more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. 
دور بیوتیوب و فایده داره